Flowers are nature's paintbrush, adding beauty, color, and fragrance to our world. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, and you know, I've painted flowers for years, but rarely have I painted still lives, especially for publication. Lilac Bouquet features a assortment of flowers celebrating the beauty of spring. Of course, my cottage paintings have always featured flowers, and when I worked on the lilac cottage painting, which was based on a real cottage in Carmel, California, where I love to go and paint and find inspiration, this idea came to me that I could take those lilacs and extend the idea yet again just a little further. In this case, bring the lilacs up close so you can study them and feature them in a still life painting. Of course, if you think of the great subject matter or styles of art, you think of landscape, you think of figural art, there is sporting and wildlife art. And still life is a very big category. Of course, over the centuries, especially in the Western art tradition of Europe and America, you have still life as one of the central themes. There's this need we have as artists to capture little slices of daily life. A still life is just a little fleeting touch of beauty. You take some flowers and you put them in a vase and you try to capture them. Of course, in the Renaissance era, still lives were very elaborate. These details were brilliantly rendered, often requiring weeks or months to complete the painting. During the Impressionist era, there were great soft edge, colorful still lifes by Monet and Renoir and Sisley and others who painted in the style of Impressionism but captured the color of still life in a very scintillating, very textural technique. I would say this painting is a little on the Impressionist side, although I tried to create a sense of rendering and realism to it. I always try to strike that balance. I like to have detail and yet soft edges. So hopefully this painting takes the best of what I've learned over the years as I've studied the centuries of still life painting and combines it, as it were, into one of my own paintings. Of course, there are so many colors in nature and flowers take on a special radiance when they're seen in combination with other flowers. I blended some miniature red roses with some chrysanthemums and a variety of lilacs of different color. And you have this sense of the overflowing abundance of nature. And of course, I gathered them together in a blue porcelain vase. Very classic, very traditional look for a still life. You know, with a still life painting, you're not working with deep space like you do with a landscape where you have trees, then mountains, then other vistas beyond. This painting features a diffused background in a relatively shallow space. When I was working on this painting, I used a number of glazes, but I also used some opaque colors that were brushed, what we call scumbling, the very dry brush use of color over other dry areas. And you can see that, especially in the background, you see some blues, some mauves, some rust tones that sort of come out and blend with the other colors that are there. There's a real sense of cool light that I was after, the idea that it's almost as though filtered sunlight were coming in from the distance. You can see the light coming from the upper left-hand corner of the painting very subtly coming across the composition. And of course, you see that in the sense of dry brushed paint that was layered over the texture of the background. This painting features a lot of brushwork. I used all that brushwork to make the painting blend together layer upon layer that made the edges kind of go soft in some places, harder in others, and it kind of pulled all the brush strokes together to form the image. Even though it's a still life, I still have some hidden ends in this painting. There are three hidden ends, and of course you can look for those in the flowers and in the foreground. Of course, flowers are the gift of love. Uh, we associate flowers with special occasions. One nice thing about a painting of a bouquet, it does not 
wither and, and wilt and over time get thrown away. This is a permanent bouquet of flowers. My hope is that many people will share the gift of love with Lilac Bouquet. A still life is an instant classic. I love the look of still lives. And so if you've been one of those at shows who've asked me about still life paintings and when I'm gonna do a still life, this is the first, hopefully, of many more that will come in the future. Lilac Bouquet. As always, I am so thankful for the support of all our collectors, the dealers, and everybody who has shared the light over the years. God bless.